One of the problems with a large touch screen like this is how you actually do the typing. I mean, if you take the iPhone, you can actually see the difference here uh, between the sizes. Let's just put one on top of the other. This is the iPhone 3GS and the Kamanji web station. Uh, with the iPhone, if you want to be writing, I mean, it's easy enough to write. And since it went to landscape, you can do it this way also. And, you know, you can hold it in two hands and type like that. Not a problem. Really easy. Problem with the Kamanji with a screen this size is to hold it in two hands like this, you can type, it just it doesn't work all that well. I mean, it's a lot of moving of the fingers and holding the device. Uh, it doesn't help that the touch screen actually requires a, a much harder press, different technology involved. And if you go this way to landscape and you do it, I mean, you can't really reach. Um, so that's really a, a, a big issue on a, on a tablet this size. And if you go larger, it's going to be an even bigger issue. Um, one of the things I have found that actually does work is you can actually type like this. Place the tablet down, type and just, I'm not actually as accurate because I'm not on top of it. And you can see that you can actually type as if it's a, a keyboard, not nearly as fast as you could on a real keyboard, but, you know, um, but it does actually work. So you get, you know, much faster. You can't do it, actually, if it's in portrait, you really can't do it. It's going to be... Let's just rotate the screen. You can see that it lags a little bit to rotate. You won't be able to do it with the screen here. The keys are just too small. But if you go to landscape, it works. So, I mean, it really does show that the best form of input on a device such as this is going to be doing something kind of like this. This is by far going to be the easiest way to go. The best way to type on any touchscreen device is going to be by using your voice so long as the dictation is quick and accurate, period. That's the way to type on a device. But if you need to type on a touchscreen, uh, with the web station, you certainly can lay it out and use it as if, as if it's a, uh, a keyboard. This has just been a quick visit to the Kamanji web station uh, and looking at really what is basically the issue with, with a screen this size. Uh, if Apple's coming out with one in January, I'm really curious about how they're going to get past the input issues. Uh, hopefully they'll do something like this. Hopefully when Apple releases a tablet, they will have built into it a form of voice recognition software that works even better than what I'm using right now, period. It is, after all, the best solution, period.